Kentucky announced record numbers for weekly and daily case totals along with the highest positivity rate the state has seen yet. But health officials say according to data, Kentucky is about a week or two behind the trends in states like Rhode Island and New York where numbers there are starting to sharply decline. If Kentucky follows this pattern, then we may see our own peak within the next one to two weeks. And this, of course, would be a very welcome reprieve. Welcome news as Kentucky surpasses more than a million COVID cases since March of 2020. The Omicron variant packing a punch here lately as the Commonwealth tallied some record numbers. Saturday saw the highest total cases with nearly 15,000 in one day. In the past week, the state saw more than 72,000 cases, as well as a more than 30% positivity rate, which is also a record. While it does appear that Omicron, especially if you're vaccinated, is less likely to make you seriously ill than Delta, and it is uh, less likely to cause death than Delta, the number of people that it's impacting, that it is infecting, is pushing our hospitalization uh, to near uh, what we had in Delta. The National Guard has been deployed to help at hospitals like Baptist Health LaGrange. The governor offering yet another plea to get vaccinated to help lessen the burden on health care staff as Omicron spreads fast. We may all get COVID at some point before this is done. Well, that ought to make you really want to be as protected as you can be from it and to keep up that level of protection. The tools are out there. Just get vaccinated. And speaking of tools to combat COVID, the federal government launched its free COVID test kit website a day early on Tuesday. With the shortage of at-home tests leaving store shelves bare, Americans can now go online to order four free testing kits per household so that you can always know your status to prevent spreading the virus further. Stefan Dingle, WLKY News.